Last time that Omaha teen Charles Trotter went to trial, chaos erupted outside the courtroom. This time, a much calmer affair. And a verdict. Two life sentences, now a possibility. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Jessica Gill. And I'm Matthew Smith. Well, lots of news to get to tonight, including the reaction of a mother after her teen son was convicted of murder. It's a case that gained extra attention because of March's mistrial. Tonight, WOWT 6 News' Colin Ruane is taking us back to the original crime and speaking with the convicted teen's mother of all people. Take a look. Charles Trotter was just 16 years old when he was charged with the deaths of Dexter Joseph and Marcel Lovejoy. It happened here in an apartment complex near 100th and Arcadia Plaza in early January of last year. Police described it as a gang related shooting. The, the thing that comes to my mind is that it, it is so sad for my family because my son was accused of double murder. Accused and now convicted. A troubling scenario for Trotter's mother, Barbara Robinson, a woman who is known in the community for advocating against violence. <laughs> Trotter's case drew attention not only for the crime, but what happened when it first went to trial. A fight outside the courtroom and a homicide on Omaha streets led to a mistrial nearly four months ago. But after Friday's verdict, Robinson says there's a different fight. And it's up to us um, to continue to fight for my son. Um, but me also as a community person, not only do I fight for my family, but I fight for others. Others who she says received unfair treatment at the courthouse. While she says her treatment was unfair, she tells us the same was true for the families of the victims. And I know people get out of control and um, believe you me, I know all about that. But then there's other ways because we all are human too. And we're live outside the Douglas County Courthouse tonight and County Attorney Don Klein tells us he's pleased with the verdict in this case, though, as we mentioned earlier in this story, Trotter's family plans to appeal Jessica. All right, thanks, Colin. Now that Trotter has been convicted, when can we actually expect his sentencing? We're actually going to have to wait a couple months for that sentencing to come up. But right now it is scheduled to take place in late August. All right, thank you very much, Colin, reporting live tonight. We appreciate that live report.